Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Car Addict. I'm coming to you from the bathroom because it's just the closest room in vicinity to my garage. So, you want to test your 85. You don't want to pay 20 bucks and wait a week to get the test kit. I got this rain gauge from Walmart for $1.76. Alright, so I originally was going to try to fill it with water to there so that I would have uh, 50 marks. Each mark would have been 2%, but not having enough water. Not having enough water, I decided to make each mark 4%, so that way instead of being 10, 20, all the way down to 100, it'll be uh, 10, 20. So 40, 60, 80, 100. So now instead of reading it like a traditional one where there's the ethanol percent numbers get higher, you're just going to start at the top and read down. So wherever the gas is, count the numbers, times by four, that's your percent gas. So I'm shooting for E83 because that's what I think that my pump was. So I'm going to hope to be somewhere right around there. So that'll be, uh, or wait, I want 17%. So actually, I'm hoping to be somewhere right around here. So 17% gas will leave 83% alcohol. Okay, I went barely a little too high. But really, that's not going to push the results too far off. All right, to make that more clear, I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit. Say your top line is there, and you overfill to up here, and your lines are quarter inches apart. Well, from this point, your top line, to the top of your fuel, just have imaginary lines every quarter inch. So when you count from here down, you would have one, two, three, four, five lines, plus however many actual lines are on there. And now rain gauges don't come with a cap. So I'll use my thumb as the cap and shake it up, set it down, give it a minute to separate. Alright, so hopefully that's easy enough for you to see. I kind of have to guess because I went a little too high. So every line is 4%. So at the top of the separation line, there's 4, 8, 12, 16, maybe 15, 17. So anyways, there you go. E85 tester for under two bucks. Now, really you can find anything you want and they have formulas where you can input the amount of water you put in, the difference between the total volume and the amount of water, the separation amount and blah 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 to calculate it. But seriously, I don't see how it could get any easier than just find a top line, figure a way to break it up a hundred times, whether one line is four, one line is two, whatever, fill it to that line with water, and instead of reading your alcohol percent, read from the top down in gas. And then a hundred minus that, boom, there's your ethanol. So, hope you appreciate that. Uh, no more waiting for the mail for $20 testers that's just the rain gauge with a fancier look to it. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.